Hi folks, welcome to uh, another screencast on A2P Exercise Physiology. Uh, today we're looking at the aerobic energy system which consists of three stages um, which you're going to learn the basic principles of today. Uh, before we progress, just to kind of just to uh, give some more information about the aerobic energy system, it uses uh, glycogen, glucose, and fats to provide the energy for ATP resynthesis. And there are no fatiguing byproducts of this particular system. All right, so feel free to pause the screencast, um, take notes. Uh, there is more to it, but Rich and I will go through it with you in uh, lessons. Okay, so the first stage of the aerobic energy system is something called aerobic glycolysis and it's very similar to your anaerobic glycolysis, i.e. the lactic acid system. But there is one major difference. So as before, we use our stores of muscle and liver glycogen and this is broken down by an enzyme called GPP into glucose. And this glucose is further broken down by an enzyme called PFK. And it's this breakdown of glucose which gives us the energy for 2 uh, ATP. However, in the presence of oxygen, the pyruvic acid we get from this particular system is converted or combines with something called coenzyme A and it forms a compound called acetyl coenzyme A or acetyl COA so that's our stage one of aerobic glycolysis however there's another stage to it and this stage two is called the Krebs cycle now with the Krebs cycle the acetyl coenzyme A, which is the end product of your stage 1 aerobic glycolysis, becomes the starting point for the Krebs cycle. This acetyl coenzyme A combines with an acid called oxaloacetic acid. And this forms citric acid. And this citric acid enters the Krebs cycle and undergoes a, uh, a number of reactions. And there are four reactions uh, in total. So it is citric acid enters the Krebs cycle and there are four reactions that take place. The first reaction is where carbon dioxide is produced and removed and uh, is exhaled uh, by the lungs. The second uh, part of this Krebs cycle is where citric acid is uh, oxidized and where hydrogen atoms are produced and then removed. Now these hydrogen atoms are then sent to the next stage, the stage three, which we'll come on to in a second. The third thing that the Krebs cycle does is produces or resynthesizes two molecules of ATP. And the fourth stage to the Krebs cycle is the regeneration of the oxaloacetic acid. And that's where we get the regeneration of the acid just there. So let's focus on the second part of the Krebs cycle where the hydrogen atoms are produced and these hydrogen atoms then become the starting point of the electron transport chain and there they are just there now the hydrogen atoms that come down from the uh, Krebs cycle combine with coenzymes NAD and FAD and they split into hydrogen uh, electrons which is the E and hydrogen 
ions, which is the H+. Plus. And the electron transport chain takes place in something called the mitochondria Christae fold, and that's uh, a part of your of your muscle. So what happens that these electrons, these hydrogen electrons, the E minus, is are carried down the electron transport chain in the mitochondria Christae folds, and it resynthesizes 34 ATP. Now your hydrogen ions, which are your HS, uh, pass down the mitochondria Christae folds and combines with oxygen to form water. And that is exhaled uh, by the lungs, like a byproduct of the electron transport chain. So, a major thing from this particular part of the system, the electron transport chain, is that there are 34 ATP generated from this stage, stage 3. So, it's the most productive stage of the aerobic energy system. Okay, some key points from this particular system, the aerobic energy system. It produces in total 38 ATP, two from stage one, two from sta uh, stage two, and 34 from st uh, stage three, the electron transport chain. It is the primary energy system for low to moderate intensity over a long duration. And there are no fatiguing byproducts because oxygen is present. Okay, guys, that's that's kind of it. That's the basics behind it. Uh, if you have the A2 books, please go through those or visit some interesting websites if you want to. Bring your notes. We'll go over it in a lesson. There's more to it, obviously, but that's the basic principles behind it. Okay, see you in a lesson.